Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your first website from purchasing a domain all the way to installing WordPress so you can start blogging or building out your website. So I'm going to move really quick because I want you to be able, I want you to know that this can be done in under like six minutes. So the first thing you need to do is go and get your web hosting. Now, if this is your first domain, I would, re or if this is your first time purchasing web hosting, I would recommend that you buy your domain with a web hosting because it's free. So, uh, and here's what I mean. So you can go to SiteGround. The link is below the video here and click on sign up now. And when you go here, you're just going to choose your plan you, for your first website. You can start at the startup. All right. You'll go here and say, register a new domain. So I'm going to type in a crazy domain that I know, uh, is not available. And, uh, as you see, they're, they're going to give you free registration for the first year of this domain. All right, there you go. This is available, <laughs> right? So just go through here and fill out all of your information. Uh, one thing I want to make note of is when you get down here, you'll want to, uh, of course you pay for hosting, although it's 395 a month, it's paid annually. And I would say that all of the it's up to you whether you want to check these services um, but just starting out you probably don't need the hack alert or the domain privacy perhaps only these two uh, but that's totally up to you so anyway from here you're gonna submit your order I've already purchased my domain so I'm gonna forward this to the screen that you'll see afterwards all right so after you purchase your domain you have a receipt like this that tells you you know what your transaction details and then you'll also have your welcome email this is the one that you're looking for so you can click here to log into the customers area quick note before I go and log into the customers area this is the domain that I just purchased um, so as you see there's nothing here but if I click that if I click this link it'll take me to log in and once you're in what you need to do is go to my accounts and access your cPanel. So it says go to cPanel. Because as you see, that domain is not listed under here as a installed a WordPress install. So you want to go to auto installers, select WordPress. And now from here, you're going to click install and you're going to choose your domain. There it is, Arch Ratio. In directory, I'm going to leave that blank. Prefix. All right. So here you want to give your website a name. So you'll fill those in with either your a tagline or a description. Um, username. You'll want to set uh, a username and password that you'll remember and set this email. I'm going to set mine's real quick. All right. Next, you want to uncheck that because it's going to install a plugin you don't need. And let me look at no advanced options and just hit install. And we will sit, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll sit and wait for this to install. I'm going to pause the video so it doesn't add to time. Nope, never mind. Look how fast it's going. <laughs> All right. So now it looks like it is fully installed. All right. So here's what you need to do. Uh, first off, let's go back to my website. Look at this. If I hit refresh, I now have WordPress installed. I can start blogging. I can start adding content to my heart's content. Now, how you do that is logging into your cPanel. I mean, logging into your WordPress dashboard. So that's this right here. You want to save this. Look at this. Your domain name dot com forward slash WP dash admin. You click that. And what you'll need to do is actually put um your credentials here and those are the same credentials you used when you logged in i mean when you set up the wordpress install and here you are so now you're behind wordpress and there's a slew of tutorials out there that will show you how to start creating pages and post in wordpress the most important thing that i want you to do though is go down to your perma permalinks and make sure that you select a post type like that and just hit change or save changes um, and, and that's it you're you now have a freshly installed WordPress to start blogging or building your website 
one thing you may want to do is look into like a multi-purpose theme. I know a lot of people use the Avada theme at themeforest.net. I'll put a link below this. Uh, you could check it out because it gives you, you know, it's a drag and drop builder that allows you to build like really robust uh, websites. Um, fairly easy without any coding. So, um, but there's tons of free, free uh, templates out there. So if you don't want to go that route, uh, you can always go into appearance and themes, and then you can just browse uh, what word, what the WordPress repository has, um, and select a theme, and start from there. Uh, you literally just hit install and activate. So uh, let's do that. Let's let me install this legal theme, and if I say activate, it's going to activate that theme. Now check this out when I hit refresh. There you go. It's changed the entire layout to that theme. Uh, and this is all free, all free within WordPress. So um, have fun.